is Greg Bashford. Role is Professor of Biomedical Engineering in the Department of Biological Systems Engineering at the University of Nebraska. My work is in medical imaging and specifically diagnostic ultrasound and even more specifically how the cerebrovascular system responds to external stimuli. So we were able to predict the likelihood of a person having preclinical Alzheimer's by watching how their blood flow in the brain responded to a certain type of stimuli. We also were able to monitor children undergoing repair surgery for congenital heart defects to watch what was happening in the operating suite was causing cerebral emboli in the brain. And we were able to monitor um, stroke uh, when it happens to see how the brain responds to pneumotactile stimuli on hands. For this particular project, we have designed uh, what's called an MVP or a minimum viable product. We are currently making that design, manufacturing it uh, with some internal funding that Nebraska has given us. And uh, we are currently testing out with the Lincoln Fire and Rescue Department. The greatest satisfaction a biomedical engineer can have is seeing their technology in the hands of healthcare givers and actually seeing them change what they do in response to the data that you give them that they didn't normally or they wouldn't normally have. New Tech has handled the parts of work that we don't want to mess with, like IP, business licenses, commercialization things of that nature and allowed us to do the work that we really want to do. So I want to thank our whole team, Dr. Ed Trumper, uh, the pediatric intensivist who first came down to the University from Children's Hospital some 15 years ago to start talking with me about developing this technology, and Ben Hage, uh, my postdoctoral fellow, and uh, many other students, undergraduate and graduate who worked on this technology over the years. This technology may revolutionize the way that first responders handle resuscitation, literally changing what they do in real time, uh, depending upon the tech, what information we give them from the technology. So it has the potential to save thousands of lives.